I invite you to place your hands on your heart and connect with what is alive in you. Connect with the life that you are and the life, the gift that you've been given. So just notice your breath, pay attention to it. Notice how as your chest rises and falls with each breath, your hands rise and fall along with your chest as Hashem is breathing life into you in this very moment. Vaypach be'apav nishmat chayim. Hashem breathed into Adam, to the first man, the breath of life. But that didn't just happen in that one day of creation. It's happening now. And now, and now. And with that breath of life, you can also feel the beat of your heart under your hands. And as life is being pumped from the air that you're breathing through your heart and into every sinew, every cell, every organ in your body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. You can take a moment to appreciate the gift of life. And in so doing, you increase your heart's capacity to hold life, to hold love, to hold light. It is not by accident that these words sound so similar. And as you feel with your hand on your heart, as you feel your heart beating, and as you feel your breath pushing your hands in and out, and as you feel the ground beneath you supporting you, I invite you also to allow your muscles to relax. You don't have to force them. You can just allow them to let go. And you can imagine in your mind's eye that any worries or concerns or frustrations that you're carrying as a burden you can literally imagine them, imagine them all just rolling right off of your shoulders and down your back and allow them to rest on the ground for a while so that you can become lighter, so that your heart can grow wider. And the first way that we invite our hearts to become vessels for divine light is by creating a space for divine emotions. So the first emotion I want to invite is laughter. One of the errors we make in life is thinking that in a time of loss, there's no room for laughter. But I can tell you, having been in a shiva today, laughter came into the room because mourners laugh as much as they cry, as much as they experience anger, because all of this is the colors, all the different colors of humanity. But the highest, most divine emotions are those that create an opening within us. And those are the ones we're gonna to connect to right now because we're turning ourselves into vehicles and Zemel Kavim of divine light. So I want you to think of a specific time in your life that you were filled with laughter. Perhaps you even fell over with it. Perhaps you lost <laughs> milk through your nose or lost something or lost your balance because the laughter was so huge. 
And I want you to play that memory as if it's happening right now. And if you can't exactly remember the details, that's okay. Make them up. Use your imaginative capacity to fill in those spaces because our bodies can't tell the difference between imagination and reality. And what we're trying to create here is an emotional experience within the body, within the goof. So play out that memory. Where were you? What do you see around you? What colors and textures and scenes? Notice light and shadow. Who were you with? Were there sounds associated with that memory? Taste? Smell? What physical sensations do you remember feeling along with that laughter? I'm noticing how my stomach muscles got sore from laughing so hard. How my cheeks grew red. And what other emotions ride the coattail along with this experience of talk of laughter? Allow those emotions to fill your heart as well. And you have this amazing capacity to bridge the distance between the mind and the heart, which is the longest distance in the world. Very simply by feeling emotions such as laughter, such as tzchok, while simultaneously keeping your mind's eye on that space under your hands on your chest. And that tells your mind and your heart, please talk to each other. And as they talk to each other, they start creating a resonant frequency. And this isn't heebie-jeebie stuff. This is really scientific stuff. Your EEG and your EKG will start to have matching waves. And those waves create a lot of resonance. And that resonance turns you into a magnetic field able to shine a tremendous amount of light well beyond what you normally are able to, just a few meters from your body, you're able to go way, way beyond that. And because we're in all different parts of the world, we're creating this resonant frequency, both those who are here live right now and those who join us in the recording, and we're able to send those waves and those frequencies out to where they need to go. So we can connect to this idea as Yamale, Shokpino, Ulshoneno Rina. In the end of days, our mouths will be filled with laughter and our tongues will be filled with gladness and joy. When we see the truth and the goodness behind all of this. And now I invite you to bring into your heart another creative emotion from another memory, a time that you were filled with a deep sense of gratitude, of hoda'a. And breathe deeply as you re-experience that memory with all of its colors and textures. Notice who you were with, where you were, What do you see? What do you hear, taste, smell? Bring it all to life again. This is why Hashem gave you an imaginative faculty, not to keep replaying horrific scenes in your mind, but to keep replaying beautiful scenes in your mind and invite that feeling of gratitude to turn up its volume. Imagine you're literally turning a volume knob so you could feel that gratitude even more in your heart. 
along with that sensation of laughter, of tzchok. But why stop there? I invite you now to think of a specific time that you were filled with a deep sense of love so big your heart felt like it was gonna burst. And live that moment as if it's happening right now with the same people around you, with the same experience of God being in your life, that same deep sense of connection. Where are you in this memory? What do you see, hear, taste, smell? And with that feeling of love and keeping your mind's eye on that space under your hands, I invite you to yet again turn up the volume and invite the other creative emotions that might be riding the coattails of love, perhaps connection, perhaps holiness, perhaps unity, perhaps faith to join that feeling of love. And I want you to imagine that in your heart, there is a great light growing even as you feel your heart swelling because more blood is being pumped to your heart as you feel these emotions. This is a real physiological experience that it's happening. And feel that there's an orb of light that you are creating with this love and with the laughter and with the gratitude. And that orb of light is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and out of it stream threads of beautiful light, radiant light. And those threads come out of your heart and wrap themselves around this entire community, both those who are here now and those who are joining us virtually I could say you're joining us in the future, but really all there is, is now. So here we all are, and I want you to imagine like a big samech, these strings of love and gratitude and laughter are wrapping themselves around and around and around us over and over and over again. This strong, chazak circle of light that we're creating. And in the midst of our circle, are those who have been injured by this war. We're gonna focus our energies this evening, this afternoon, wherever it is that you are, on this beautiful collection of souls. And as we wrap ourselves around in light, we're also crisscrossing tons of light through the center of the circle, we're building as if a spider's web, but it's a holy web of light around us, binding us all together in a very strong community and through us, and binding us with those who've been injured and bringing them our laughter. Imagine your laughter bursting out of your heart and shining upon them and your gratitude bursting out of your heart and shining upon them into the center of the circle and your love bursting out of your heart and shining upon them into the center of the circle. And keep a smile on your face. Be ma'ol panim. Allow your face to shine with this light. And remember, we don't have to do this work alone. There are great holy, holy people who we can invite to join us here. So I personally, this morning in meditation, when I was meditating by myself, I had a moment of connection with Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. He was very big on the idea of going into the deepest, darkest places and finding the light there. 
and this is the deep dark place we're in. So I want to invite him to join us in the circle, to bring us his emuna and his light and his love of Am Yisrael. Every single kind of Jew has managed to figure out a way to flock to Uman, irrespective of their background, their community, their nationality, their culture, their history. So I invite him to be here with us. And I want to invite also Yosef HaTzadik. Yosef HaTzadik, who was thrown in the pit not once, but twice. And from that place, he actually built a deeper sense of emunah and a deeper sense of connection with the divine, so much so that when Paro asked him to interpret his dreams, he said, I don't interpret dreams. It's all Hashem. And from that one statement, he was given the power to rule the world of his day. And it's that level of glory that Am Yisrael is going to come out with. That same level of glory that Esther, who I also invite to the circle, she understood the power of rising to a state of glory, rising to a state of malchut, and creating a total mapacha, The greatest, scariest time for the Jewish people ended up being a time of rejoicing and reveling. So I want to connect to that. To the great national seudat hoda'ah that we will all be having together when we rejoice this victory so that those who've been injured will know that they fought for something great and something holy. So Esther Malka and Yosef HaTzadik and Rabbi Nachman join us in our circle and each of you can invite holy tzadikim that you're connected to. Bring them, invite them here. You can do that. It's your birthright. This is why when we pray the Shmona Esrei, Every single time we say Eloke Avraham, Eloke Yitzchak, Eloke Yaakov, we invite our ancestors with us in our times of prayer. And as we hold their hands, I want to also invite David Melech. You will see on your screen the chapter of Psalms, chapter 121. You can read it along with me or keep your eyes closed and just listen. David Melech, give us your words, give us your emuna, teach us how to turn darkness into light. Shir la ma'alot, esa enai el herarim, me'ain yavo ezri. Ezri me'im Adonai, ose shamayim ba'aretz. Al yiten lamot raglecha, al yanum shomrecha. Hinei lo yanum velo yishan shomer Yisrael. Adonai shomrecha, Adonai tzilcha, al yad yeminecha. יומם השמש לא יקקה וירח בלילה. אדוני ישמורך מכל רע ישמור את נפשך. אדוני ישמור צדך ובואך מעתה ועד עולם. Now chapter 20, כף. למנצח מזמור לדוד. יענך אדוני ביום צרעה ישגבך שם אלוהי יעקב. ישלח אזרך מקודש ומציון יצדקה. יזכור כל מנחותיך ועולתך ידשנה סלע. ייתן לך כלבביך וכל עצתך ימלא. נרננה בשועתך ובשם אלוהינו נדגול. ימלא אדוני כל משאלותיך. עתה ידעתי כי הושיע אדוני משיחו, יענהו משמי קודשו בגבורות ישע ימינו. אלה ברכב ואלה בסוסים, ואנחנו בשם אדוני אלוהינו נזכיר. המה קראו ונפלו, ואנחנו קמנו ונתעודד. אדוני הושיע, המלך יננו ביום קורנו. So I want us to close your eyes again, place your hands back on your heart, and I invite you to imagine that all of these words of Tehillim, each of these letters has also wrapped itself around us, 
Every word, every pasuk, every perik is wrapping itself around us, helping us to create a really strong sukkah of light around those who have been injured. But our sukkah needs a kippah. It needs a covering. It needs chach. So we're going to go up to Shemaim with all of the holy chutzpah that Hashem has told us that we have the, the right, the birthright to demand that Avram Avinu and Moshe Rabbeinu taught us how to be holy chutzpanim. And we're going to climb up to Shemaim and access the light of Hashem Zanan HaKavod and bring it down, back down with us. And how are we going to climb up? We're going to climb up using the Sulam of Yaakov, Jacob's ladder. So I want us to imagine that in the midst of our circle, there's a circular ladder that each of us simultaneously can climb. In the middle of that ladder are all of the injured of Am Yisrael. And they don't have to climb. Simply with our love and with our light, we're going to carry them with us and they're going to float up, 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 higher and higher. Up to the 10th rung of the ladder where there is an infinite cloud of radiant, holy light. So I invite you to grab onto the first rung of the ladder and the second. And feel your body growing heavier even as your soul grows lighter and more joyful and grab onto the third rung of the ladder and the fourth and you can see the injured of Am Yisrael rising up in our midst just floating with such beauty carried by our love and our light and the fifth rung of the ladder and the sixth you can feel the divine light, rays of it already touching your fingertips and your shoulders and the top of your head. And you grab onto the seventh rung and the eighth, and your body has grown even heavier, even as your soul is so eager to come home to that place where everything is one, everything is good, everything is light, and everything is holy and grab onto the ninth rung of the ladder and the tenth, and you see these holy, holy injured souls in our midst rising and rising up with us. And you can just hop right up onto the top of the ladder where we meet again as a circle, bound around and around by the light of our love, the light of our laughter, the light of our gratitude. And above our heads, in the midst of this radiant cloud of glory, we can see the name of Hashem that encompasses so many of our creative emotions. The laughter, the gratitude, the love. And I invite you to feel how your body is created in God's image. You're not just meant to bask in the light of Hashem. You're meant to contain and emanate the light of Hashem. That's why your body was created using the holy divine letters of Yud, He, Vav, and He. So I want you to see the Yud of Hashem's divine name coming into your head and staying your head and emanating so much light that it shoots out of the pores of your face radiating into everyone around the circle and especially everyone in the midst of the circle, just radiating pure light, the light of love, of healing, of compassion, of comfort. And the hay of Hashem's name comes in through the top of your head, meets you between the shoulders, and the arms of the hay fill your arms all the way to the tips of your fingers with divine light so that you can literally see light emanating out of your hands and into the center of the circle. And the Vav of Hashem's name comes down and slips right into your spine where it's just so at home. This place where we hold ourselves tall and long. We are not like the bent over creatures, the other mammals who are bent over. We stand tall because we have this Vav 
that connects us, that creates that connection between the heavens and the earth. And that vav radiates divine light and emanates from all of the pores of your torso into the center of the circle, but especially shooting out of your heart. If you will it so, if you imagine it so, it is. You are a beacon of light. And you just have to imagine it being so, and it literally happens. We can scientifically measure that right now, every single one of us, and especially because we are a collective, we are a minion of people, we are radiating so much more electromagnetic energy than we normally do. And we can direct that energy, and we will in a moment. And that last hey of Hashem's name comes down through your head and torso, and the top of the hey meets you between the hips, and the legs of the hay fill your legs to the tips of your toes with radiant, glorious, divine light. And now here you are. You are made less of flesh right now and more of light and feel that and see that, that you are a being of light. We are told by our holy tzaddikim by Chazal that in the end of days, We will actually see and experience that we are beings of light and we will have the option to pop in and out of our bodies at will. And this is how we train ourselves to feel and experience and know that this is our birthright. And now that you are a Merkava, a vehicle for Hashem's divinity, I invite you to hold your hands up literally do so, not just in your imagination, and hold them palms facing out towards the center of the circle, where all of the injured of Am Yisrael are. And I want you to imagine that the crown of your head is wide open, as if somebody's doing brain surgery on you and they just opened it big, big, big. and feel that a waterfall of pure divine light made of Hashem's name, made of the Magen David, is raining down upon you, coming in through the top of your head and literally flooding you with holiness and love and compassion and comfort and healing. And of course, your body can't hold that much light which is why David Melech taught us that we have the capacity to live the existence of Kosira Vaya, my cup overflows. So that light comes into your heart and bursts out of your heart in an explosion and through your arms and out of the palms of your hands. And literally see that light shooting out of the palms of your hands and into all of the hospitals and the beds and the people who need healing in Am Yisrael, and see that light coming into their hearts and see that light shining from their hearts and pumping from their hearts into every sinew of their being, into every cell. Breathe that light in and breathe it out of your palms and invite a smile to come upon your face because you've been waiting your whole life for this moment, for the prophecy that we've been given that we are meant to be a light onto the nations. This isn't a figurative light, it's a literal light. You are a warrior of light. You are a healer. You are a member of Am Yisrael. This is our birthright. And of course, you didn't just come for all of these beautiful souls who need healing. Each one of us, we also came for ourselves because we also need healing. We also need comfort. All of us together, we're all mourning. So I invite you very slowly and sweetly and tenderly in the way that you would approach a newborn infant, bring your hands slowly back to your chest 
and hold yourself with tenderness, with compassion, with patience. Whatever mistakes you make today or yesterday or tomorrow, forgive yourself. Make peace inside of yourself, bring comfort to yourself so that you have the capacity to create peace with the people around you and with the community around you and hopefully with the nations around you. And just love that beautiful soul with a smile and with sweetness. And we're gonna make our way back down to the bottom of the ladder taking all of this light from the cloud of glory, we've grabbed it all, we're taking it with us and bringing it down into this world that needs that light so much. We go from 10 to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I invite you now, if you wish to do so, to turn your camera on so we can have a moment of basking in the glow of what we've created here. And I will post in the chat the link for joining our community. It's very helpful if you join our WhatsApp group so that you have the capacity to know when we have upcoming meditations that willing we're aiming to have meditations happening every day tonight at 8 p.m america time shoshana helfenbaum will be leading another meditation at this exact link such a beautiful thing to see your faces thank you for being here thank you for blessing am yisrael with your light and with your love Take this light with you today. Hold your heart whenever you need it. Remember this moment. I always post recordings of our meditations. You're always welcome to come and revisit this one or any other one. I bless all of you with a day and a night of peace and beauty and love.